Hi, welcome to Vlogmas. Today we're gonna do a quick and easy tutorial on how to set up a super special feeling, cozy movie night spot. Something that can have a little bit of a theme with the movie you wanna watch and just feel really special. So let's jump right into it. My first tip would be not to watch the movie wherever you typically watch TV. So if you usually sit on the couch and watch the TV in your living room, try to think a little bit outside of that box and sit somewhere different. Maybe that just means on the floor. Maybe you set up a movie on your laptop or your tablet in bed or in the bathtub, or you have a projector so you can watch it somewhere else in your house. Just sitting somewhere different, like having a different environment will make it feel a little more special and festive. If you're having people come over, they might appreciate that too. Or if you're watching virtually with friends like I will be doing tonight, it just adds a little sense that this is a different kind of night and you're making it special. So for our movie night, we're gonna set up like a picnic scenario on the floor. So we're gonna be using this floor space right here and just make a little bit of a picnic beside the Christmas tree and set that up here. So the next consideration is to think about a bit of a color scheme for your movie setup. Obviously not a huge important factor, but if you keep that in mind while you're setting up little elements of your home theater <laughs> environment, Cindy wants to be part of this so bad, so cute. <laughs> um, it will make the whole thing look a little more cohesive and festive and tie it in. So obviously this is going to be a Christmas movie tonight, but whatever your theme is, maybe think about the color palette of the movie or something else along those lines and try to bring that together. So we will be using mostly red and green, probably a little bit of pink because that's our favorite color, right Cindy? <laughs> and setting up a little picnic right here. So this is the foundation for the movie night setting. The blanket forms the basis of the picnic atmosphere and I have this little laptop tray table and my laptop to watch the movie on. Meanwhile, I know it's silly because we have this jumbo TV, but I'm actually just using that for ambiance. So you can put a fireplace on the TV or if you go on YouTube and look up Christmas ambiance, Halloween ambiance, whatever the occasion is, you will find great options. Right? <laughs> she is just going to be a part of this whole process. That as soon as they put a blanket on the floor, the dogs are like, oh, for me? It's so cute. So the next layer of coziness that we want to add in is all the comfy textures, seating options, etc. So again, keeping on the color scheme, we're going to try and do like reds and whites. I have these white fur pillows. I have the red velvet pillows. This one's even got some more plaid going on. And especially if you're having other people over, you want to just make sure there's tons of cozy seating options, lots of blankets. You, this is absolutely not optional, <laughs> mandatory that you have an extra blanket to cuddle under and you just want to layer the cozy textures. The next thing to consider is lighting. Even if you're not doing this for a Christmas movie, highly, highly, highly recommend. In fact, I insist that you add twinkle lights. As you can see, there's already an abundance of twinkle lighting in this room. I take it very seriously, <laughs> but you can always, always add more and it just creates that ambient lighting that's so pleasant when you're watching a movie because you really don't want any direct lighting for that. So I thought this strand of old school brightly colored bulbs would be perfect to go with our movie for tonight, which by the way is Home Alone, such an eternal classic. <laughs> and so I'm gonna put these out. Another important consideration under lighting would be candles. Again, the level of cozy and, cozy and ambient. Did I just invent a word, cozy and? Um, the cozy and lighting from this candle is, again, unmatched, and it's a must, and it smells really good, and it's on theme. So try to throw a candle in there and then supervise it very responsibly, and try to throw some twinkly lights in. Why is it just the cutest law of the universe that anytime there's any cuddly setup anywhere, a dog will come? <laughs> it's so cute. Highly recommend adding pets to your movie night, if at all possible. So adorable. But we have layered in the fun lighting. We have layered in the pets. <laughs> and I've also started to layer in some snacks. So I'm prepping this early, a few hours before my movie night, and that is another pro tip. I always suggest making sure you get things done early because when you're ready to relax is not the time to start a project. It's time to relax and you won't feel like doing this then. But I'm already laying out my snack situation. So I have some holiday Hershey's Kisses, some candy canes. I'll put popcorn in here later and I will make a fun drink in here later. But this all fits my theme, so it just looks extra cute to have the snacks out and ready. The last things I'm gonna set out for myself in advance are some beauty treatments to do 
During the movie, I always love to have a face mask on. This is a nice, rich hand cream, so I can kind of pamper my hands while I'm watching. And it's in the candy cane scent, as is this chapstick. So these are all on theme, and they add to the loveliness of a holiday movie night. If you're doing a Halloween movie night, maybe you could do like a pumpkin face mask. If it's your birthday, you can get like birthday cake flavored lotions and potions and things to use while you're watching the movie. It just sort of adds a layer of fun. So I'm just gonna leave that set up and it'll be really fun to come to it this evening for movie night, kind of rediscover my little setup and feel like, oh, somebody set up this nice little movie for me. It's the same philosophy I have with setting up a themed bath night. I have videos on that. <laughs> I've gone very in depth on that. But if you don't have a bathtub, you probably have a way to watch a movie at least and you can still do some kind of themed night for yourself this way. So I'm just gonna go about my day and I'm gonna pick up dinner to have while we're watching the movie. It's gonna be on theme with the movie Home Alone. So maybe you can guess what I'm getting. <laughs> and I will show you how it all comes together then. It is finally time for movie night. I'm so excited, so glad I set this up earlier. Just made the final snacks. My husband just ran to pick up dinner. Very sweet of him because it is a girls movie night. <laughs> but he's like an honorary member. He's sometimes around while I'm watching these movies. So the movie night is with my Milk and Honey Life Club. I always joke that it's like a secret club because it's actually the second link listed below every video because it's through Patreon. But yeah, it feels like a secret club. It's just a tiny club and it's really fun because we do book clubs and movie nights, like virtual movie nights and stuff like that. We're gonna have an ugly sweater party soon <laughs> and, or probably a cute sweater party. Like, let's keep this on brand for Milk and Honey Life. But yeah, I just love those girls and it's really nice to have a night with them. So I always look forward to these special occasions. And the way we do it is through the free app called Teleparty. So if you're looking for a way to watch movies with friends, I do recommend that. It can be kind of glitchy, especially, I don't know, like early in the pandemic when everybody was using it. It was a little glitchy, but I've been using it for years now. And my brother has a movie night that has met for like 20 years and they use it. <laughs> So when they switch from like in-person movie nights to online. So yeah, I've had good experiences with it and it's kind of cool because you have like a little text bar on the side and you can just have like fun banter while you're all watching the movie in sync. So it's free, you just have to have the subscription service for whatever you're watching. Like tonight we're watching a movie that's on Disney Plus. But other than that, anybody can join and that makes it extra fun. We always like, I don't know, the girls always crack me up with their banter we watched. The Holiday last time, which is a fantastic Christmas movie, and I was cracking up because there was a lot of commentary on Jude Law in that movie. <laughs> and his glasses, or lack thereof, and his chest hair, or lack thereof, it was so funny. But anyway, so I'm about to get all situated here and enjoy my cozy movie night, and I hope that this inspired you to set up some kind of space like this for yourself and just make a special night. Even if you're just watching a movie alone, that can sometimes be some of the most glorious <laughs> movie watching experiences. So whatever way this works for your life, I hope you can squeeze in a little extra coziness this way. So surely you're not surprised what the themed dinner for this movie is. A lovely cheese pizza, all on my own, <laughs> or whatever he says, just for me. <laughs> when you picked it up, Nate, did you tell them Merry Christmas, you filthy animals? I did. You should Thank have. You. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it really completes the Home Alone vibes. It's so nice to have this little picnic here on the floor. It makes it feel special. And I would love to watch the movie on the big screen, obviously, but the Teleparty app has to be done through your internet browser. So I watch it on my computer and that way I can chat. And I have all my snacks. I went ahead and just made everything early for the purpose of this video. So we have a hot cocoa for later and popcorn. And I, I think part of the aesthetic is kind of to make a mess on movie night. <laughs> so I just like scatter the popcorn and the candies and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think you gotta kind of lean into it and be messy and just have fun. And then later when you're cleaning it up, you can think back on what a fun night it was. So that's all my tips for how to do a home special movie night. To recap, I suggest sitting somewhere a little bit different so it feels unique. Thinking about the color scheme, thinking about the lighting, definitely bringing in twinkle lights no matter what time of year it is, candles, theming your snacks if possible to the movie, having a couple beauty treatments to do while you're watching just to make it fun, layering all the cozy textures. You gotta think about blankets and pillows and seating for however many people are joining you. And don't forget a lovely cheese pizza if possible. <laughs> 
so that's it. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in for Vlogmas if you are or whenever you're watching this video. Just want to say I love you and appreciate it so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!